so hey guys this is another video tutorial of windows system programming and in this video tutorial we are going to see how to create the structure exceptional handling in windows c so first we'll see the differences between the exceptions and errors so errors means something expected which stop the program error cannot be handled and usually refer to the failure error typically unrecoverable if you see the exceptions any errors which can be handled and does not stop the program Error can be handled using try and catch functions. Exception can be recoverable. If you see the differences between the structure and unstructured exceptional handling, so working with go to and level are unstructured, working with try catch finally or throw are structured, usually in C. Debug and maintain of code is very difficult in unstructured, but in a structured case, debug and maintain of code is easy. Error may be ignored and in a structure it, allow, it allows you to create protected block and nested handling of code. So these are the programming differences between the unstructured and structure exceptional handling. If you see the differences, the exceptional handling differences in C and C++, this one is the asynchronous. C structure exceptional handling type is only unsigned in error code always return an integer value. Asynchronous exception raised by the keyboard or mouse interrupt. Whenever you are trying, if suppose if your program is running and you want to terminate this program using the control C, so this one is asynchronous. And there is one note, if a C exception is raised in a C++ program, I am talking about only the visual C++, it can be handled by a structure exceptional handler. But you have to change the one compiler option here in c++ the all the exceptional handling are the synchronous and the return type of any data type integer character etc but in case of c only the integer type synchronous exception raised by the hardware such as illegal memory references or floating point overflow so in windows c a structure exceptional handling there are two statements try accept and try finally so this one is the try accept signature and if you see the working the try section will execute first and if there is no exception in try section then execution continue after accept block if an exception occur during execution then expression will tell how the exception is going to be handled so these are the possible things if exception continue exec execution that means its value is minus one and exception is dismissed so what will happen it will continue the execution where it raise the exception exception continue search if that means exception is not recognized so it will search this exception onto the stack exception execute handler that means exception is recognized it will take the control and execute the exceptional handler block there is a try finally statement it is finally always a termination code if you see the working if any exception occur in try block then os will find a handler otherwise it will fail because here we are not using any exceptional handling code so there is no try finally accept in windows c but we can write in this way these are the important functions get exception code get exception information debug break rage exception abnormal termination generally this function we are using in finally block so if you see so it indicate whether the try block of a termination handler terminate normally or abnormally. So the return value, if you see abnormally, the return value is non-zero and it terminate normally, the return value is zero. There is a get exception code here. The return type of that function is in a divert type and these are the possible return error code. So here I am going to be use this one uh, exception int divide by zero. If you see the get exception information, I'll use in this uh, I'll use this function in program. 
so the return type is the long pointer exception and it contains the two things exception record and context so if you see the exception record here ex sorry exception pointer here so exception record and context record so this one is the exception record a structure see it contains the various things record address and all these things and this one is the context basically it contains the processor specific register data and there is a one debug break function if you want to debug your program through pro uh, through programming then you can use this function and you can debug your code raise exception if you want to raise an exception then you can use that raise an exception in the calling thread we'll see and do not forget to read this uh, example of exceptional handler they have beautifully explained here so now move to the coding part here i have written one sample program of the try except so here i am taking the two very uh, three variable a b c and uh, basically this program is divided by div zero so what will happen in this case it will come here and it will search this uh, error code if error code is found exception in divided by zero it will execute this handler so just uh, build this code once and we'll see so suppose here i'm writing 10 divided by 0 so what will happen in this case exception caught and this program is why i have used that because if i'm not writing then what will happen in this case see there is a one error so crt secure no warning because scanf is always not safe so that's why i have to write another example i'm going to be use all these things For example i'm going to be use here division by zero how this program is going to be terminate normally or abnormally we'll see so there is a one function here exceptional exception handler function it contains the two argument first one is the error code and exception pointer we have already seen so the exception code return the error code value here and exception information will return something we'll see here so suppose here i'm writing one statement here first print f exceptional handler function now here i'm writing if this error code code is equal to exception int divided by zero so what will happen in this case i am writing one statement and this one is the expected then it will return then else case what will happen just uh, copy this two line here and here i am writing unexpected if something goes wrong so to continue then search now in try in try block in nested try here i am dividing a by b direct paste it here and write here printf and abnormal termination termination otherwise it will terminate normally so right here else case this one is a normal termination so just try to build this code build succeeded and i'm typing here 10 and 0 so if you see in try block in exceptional handler function first the exception is already caught then caught access violation as expected in finally block there is the abnormal termination 
and then last one is the exception call. So this one was the basic program of structure exceptional handling. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching this video. Do hit comment, share and subscribe this channel.